Three. All right, so in preparing for the freeze, you also sometimes have outdoor cats or animals or dogs, so you gotta worry about them too. In my case, I feed feral cats. There's a, a little uh, um, community of cats that are nearby. They don't all come to my property, but you know I'm constantly taking them and getting them fixed and that sort of thing, and I feed them uh, as well, but I do not let them in the house. So, I mean, it's gonna get down as low as 19 degrees. Is there some way that I can help keep them warm? What I've done is, this is a storage box that I have on my back porch. And a lot of people have storage boxes on their back porch. Sometimes you buy them, they're already made. This one was custom made and it has a top that's, you know, I can get into. So what I did was, first of all, I went down to Home Depot. This was just a couple of days ago and I bought this little cat door for 13 bucks right here. And I installed it last night. And it's got a little door that opens and closes, then go in and out of. And then that way, um, it keeps them warm because the door stays closed when it gets really cold out. So I'm teaching them how to use it now and it's best to do that ahead of time so they get used to it. I put their food inside and that's the only way they can eat. Um, but basically I took all the stuff that I store and I put it in the garage temporarily just for the freeze and I emptied it out and I went down to um, Salvation Army and I bought a comforter. And that comforter cost me 20 bucks and it was really warm. I didn't care what it looked like, right? And I can wash it easily in the washing machine. So I put their like a little comforter down there and made it warm inside. So now I can close the box and they have a little door to go in and out. Super cheap, it was easy, and now I don't have to worry so much. And if I want to make it extra warm, I can put a little light bulb in there that has a cover so it protects it from like um, touching any material or something like that. And they use like a 50, 75 watt bulb and make it warm in there too. And I, I might actually do that depending on how cold it gets. So that's it.